Hi, I'm Liz. And I'm Charlie. And we are the Adventure Closet. Today, we're going to check out an abandoned nuclear missile silo. Way crazy. So come along with us. Yeah. Hi, I'm Liz, and my other half is Charlie, and we are exceptionally frugal. That's why we're traveling the U.S. in our minivan Opal, paving the way for others to see that traveling on a budget can be quite fun. We love the outdoors, and we we'll try to avoid cities, do lots of hiking, and have a strange obsession with rocks. So hop in the van, and let's see what kind of adventure we can find. The road that we're taking to get here is called New Area 51. It's kind of interesting. The power's been cut. Oh. Yeah, it has. That's crazy. I I gotta admit, this is a little bit creepy coming up on this. Like, power lines cut, deface signs. There ain't nobody out here. At least that we've seen so far. This is pretty exciting. <laughs> We're not missiles. We can't be stored in here. Oh my gosh, why'd you drive in here? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, that's all asbestos. Yeah, let's. Oh my gosh, get us out of here. <laughs> no one up the window. We're in a bad neighborhood. Oh, it's already locked. <sighs> Good. <laughs> Well, I didn't know there was asbestos in there. <laughs> Hey babe, this is where we're staying tonight. <laughs> so today we're at the Green River Launch Complex and uh, it is an abandoned missile silo. And we're gonna check it out. Let's see what's, uh, let's see what's here. Power's cut here. This looks like an old, uh, um, cover for a truck, an old army truck. It would be a sweet tiny home. It would be a sweet tiny home. Oh, 
there's this. It used to have electricity in it and everything. You gonna hold me? Yeah, I think it's. You think it's held uh, nuclear waste? Oh, I can stand all the way up in here. Yeah? I cannot. Shoot, they cut the power in here too. <laughs> uh, this is pretty cool. Yeah. There is radioactive rat droppings here and here. Hey! <laughs> That's so nice. Yeah, this is a nice little rig. Yeah. A little, little rock here. Some sort. So this is a block house? Oh, there's an opal in here. <laughs> it's a giant place. Radiation? Here's a little tidbit for rock hounders or anybody interested, but there's actually a, um, it's actually glass actually, really, but um, trinitite, which is a material that is specifically formed from um, atomic bombs. So when they're detonated, it liquefies the sand underneath. Um, and it causes this material called trinitite and it's like a green bubbly melted glassy material and people actually make jewelry and stuff out of it. I don't know what this is. It's like a well. Well, it, it, it's concrete right there. And it's got several pipes through it and uh, some electrical trap door here and then another trap door here. Whoa, what is this? What'd you find? <gasps> oh, is that like a fallout shelter? No, this is a control box room for uh, a lot of electrical, uh, probably for this entire building. You know, I wonder if the missile laid down in that building and then they slid the building away, tipped the missile up, and then launched it. I wonder if that's how that worked. Gosh, I would love to know the story behind this. There's no real ladder to get down here. That is pretty cool. <laughs> and that's just right here by this this building. Yeah, we still gotta go down there. Well, we, there's also up there too. Oh yeah. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> I wonder if these are blast shields or what. Oh. Huh. Power panel. So behind that one's the power panel. And this must have been ventilation. When I was a kid, uh, my brother, my cousins, and I, uh, we used to play like paintball and airsoft. This place would be so awesome to play because <laughs> there's so many spots to like hide behind and you'd like feel like you were like in a war zone, nuclear war zone. <laughs> I'm a dork. So there's these strange conveyor things 
here. They go under the road and everything. Oh, I wonder if they're just a hold. I don't know, I wonder what's down these holes. I bet there's another little building underneath or something. You think? Maybe, I don't know. Well, I mean, that could be the entrance for it right over there. It's a pretty big place. I mean, we drove our van right through this giant building here. Here's the tires that the track could run on. This is crazy. There's an underground tunnel under there. Oh, that's cool. I think it you can just see goes the door. to the other side. Holy where it crap, to this, that's so. awesome. Yeah. Alright, let's explore this. Alright, All right, so we're masked up so we because uh, there might be asbestos and stuff in here. I know it's not the best. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Alright, let's go check this out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. This is cool. What do you think they did in here? This up here is track for uh, computer wires. Those look like server racks right here. Which is weird because this is the same size server racks that they use nowadays. Um, and this shut down in the 70s. I oh, need a little control station. How cool. Wow, look at all them power boxes. Yeah, so they must have had a lot of different computers and stuff in here because there's outlets just lining this whole area here. Wow, how cool. What does this guy say? It says A211. Huh, this place has been pretty ransacked and stripped. Still, very cool. What you got over here? Oh. Huh. That's the sink. This is where the toilet would go. Very cool. Look at that old wall uh, covering. Wall board, I guess. And this is the control room. Giant cooling facility in here. Sparkly walls. Not sure what that's about. And then the desk, let me squeeze in here. This must have been from somebody's photo shoot or something. <laughs> Here's the command center desk. What is this on the floor here? Oh, air filter. Wow. That's cool.
And then I think something about the feather right here. Well, shall we check the rest of this place out? Uh, yeah, definitely. All right, let's go. Wow, lots more power. Probably cooling systems and power. Computers back in the day took a lot to cool, so I wouldn't be surprised if some of these rooms are just dedicated to cooling systems. Pretty cool. Probably cooling systems and power. Computers. So there's piping coming from that building we were in. Must have gone down to that tunnel and up to that big garage thing we pulled into. Charlie dropped me off so I can come down here and check this out. He's gonna pull the van around and come down too, but being out here by myself, <laughs> it adds to the creepiness. This place is crazy and you can hear sounds going on up there. <laughs> I know it's just wind or rodents and stuff, but it's got me jumpy. <laughs> Looks like that must have been the sink to the bathroom. There's that tunnel. I gotta get on the other side of it though. There's Opal. What? Oh my gosh, I can see light at the other side. Uh, this was definitely an access area. Let me turn the light on. on the... Hello! Hello! You are the Aka! Oh, that's so creepy! You guys didn't know I was such a good yodeler, didn't you? I know, I know. Oh, what is he? I'm not going in there, by the way. It looks like it could be safe, but I'm not going in. All right, you guys, there's something definitely in here. Listen. Oh no, it's not gonna do it. Hear that? <gasps> There's like a mouse, it's a mouse, not a ghost. <laughs> okay, I'm creeping myself out. Hi, Hi. how can I help? Ah. Oh my gosh, my phone just scared me. <laughs> This My is the only phone, phone I can find linked oh, to your stop. Google account. <laughs> that is definitely Charlie. He's not fooling me on that one. He went over to the other side. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> I didn't know you were gonna be right there. I thought there was like a manhole above. <laughs> nice. Are you coming in here? Uh, Babe, there was something in here. I could hear noises. There's like rats or something. Oh, uh, probably. The floor is lined with rat poop. You're gonna get like... Ebola? Ebola. Ooh, it's in here. Yeah, get out of there. Gosh. <laughs> that kid, I tell you. On July 11, 1970, the United States Air Force launched an Athena V-123D rocket from Green River Launch Complex in Utah. While its intended target was the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico, 
it impacted 180 to 200 miles south of the Mexican border, according to a recently released memorandum sent from the desk of Henry Kissinger, then serving as National Security Advisor to President Nixon. The document cites abnormal re-entry into the atmosphere as the reason why the rocket landed in the Mapimi Desert, a sparsely populated area in the northeast corner of the state of Durango. While the three-paragraph memorandum may seem as though the mishap was nothing to be concerned about, noting the Mexican government's willingness to grant clearance and assist in any search efforts, the cleanup effort was long, costly, and included the construction of a road through the Mapimi Desert to excavate hundreds of tons of soil from the impact site. The scale of the cleanup was due to the fact that the rocket was carrying two small vials of cobalt-57, an isotope used to enhance radioactive fallout with the intention of contaminating large areas of land, commonly referred to as a salted bomb. So this, we think, is site number three, which is where that uh, missile, the Athena missile, launched. Yeah. And it looks like there used to be one of those buildings, like the one we drove through right here. Because there's the same, there's the same round thing over here. So there's definitely concrete underneath it, but it's definitely on a metal plate, this thing. So I don't know if this is part of, like, did they launch the missile on the metal plate? That would kind of make more sense than doing it straight on the concrete. It's a lot of expensive stuff out here that's just rotting. Yeah, if anybody knows more about this, please share. I'd love to know more about how this works. Yeah. Fascinating history. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that is our abandoned missile silo tour. That was so fun. It was fun. Wow. Pretty cool. And uh, we had no idea this was out here. Did not plan to do this. Uh, you just no. saw it on the map when we were... Well, so I was looking for a spot to stay on iOverlander, um, which, you know, is an app we use to find spots for our van life camping. And uh, it just happened to be called the Athena Complex, which we looked it up and that's like a... a Japanese anime or something like that <laughs> um, but then we researched it a little further and uh, saw that there was like a, a missile silo out here and decided to check it out today and bring you guys along it's way cool yeah. alright well thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe check us out on Patreon and uh, we will see you next time bye now bye now now what well now we need to figure out where we're going to sleep I mean, I could sleep here. That'd be kind of creepy, wouldn't it? No. Yes. No. Yeah. Yes. We are back at the nuclear testing site. This is where we're going to camp for the night. We've got excellent uh, cell service up here. A parking pad. Yep. <laughs> Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Bye, baby. Bye now! <laughs>